Hey guys, it's Marie Antoinette here for your Mental Health Monday and tonight I'm going to be talking about unconditional love, interpersonal relationships, uh, smoke and mirrors and how we can relieve our depression and anxiety from interpersonal relationships rather than wanting to run off and meditate on a hill or be in a cabin. Because let's face it, for us sensitive people and empaths, it's really difficult um, to have interpersonal relationships and try to figure out what's ours and what somebody else is. So I wanted to um, talk this evening about all of these things. I welcome people to um, ask questions as I go along. Um, I can see Denim is on. Hey, Denim. Um, uh, and Jaren is on. Cool. So if you've got any questions as I'm talking, you can type them in and I'll just check them to see and try and answer them as we do this live. That's my dog in the background making himself known to the neighbours. Hopefully that's not going to um, spoil this. Hey John, thanks for coming on. So I'm going to be talking about unconditional love, smoke and mirrors, interpersonal relationships and how we can relieve ourselves of depression and anxiety. Hi Vanessa. So um, I'm going to be talking about smoke and mirrors. So basically, um, you may have heard this before, or you may not have, but basically people in our lives are mirrors. So often in our lives, we're often looking outwards for things to make us feel better. And we're full of expectations. We have an expectation that people should treat us in a certain way or they should behave in a certain way. And sometimes when we're slighted by others um, or that we are um, offended or... Um, we feel like we're being treated badly. It might have something to do with the fact about the level of unconditional love that we have for ourselves. Now, I'm speaking specifically about unconditional love because it's very different to love. So obviously unconditional love is loving um, ourselves and others without conditions. So it's a really specific kind of love that's obviously something that's really not embedded in the fabric of our society. There's a lot of notions about love and what love is and oh my God, you, you know all the love songs that are on, um, on the radio and all the different movies, everything is about this love and people yearning for love. But the deepest form of love is unconditional love and it happens when our heart opens or we've had an awakening or we've had a, some sort of spiritual awakening or a soul awakening. It's when our heart expands um, and that we can see the beauty in the world and we can see the beauty in others and we can see the beauty in ourselves. And so sometimes when we're not having experiences that don't reflect that, it's usually to do with the level of love that we have for ourselves. So some of the things that uh, we can do is to basically drop expectations, number one. Dropping expectations of others because it really isn't true that people are out there to make us happy. It's our responsibility to create that reality for ourselves through unconditionally loving ourselves. The other thing is to drop our critical thinking, obviously towards ourselves, not so much towards others because everything is a reflection. If we're judging ourselves, if we're criti um, criticizing ourselves, if we're not loving ourselves, we're not going to be able to let love in. We're not going to be able to stop judging others and stop being critical of others. And so that reflection is always reflecting back. So I talked about in the um, questions at the top of this feed, I talked about smoke and mirrors. And the smoke that I'm referring to is basically not being able to see that what is happening in our experience is actually a reflection of us. So when we remove that smoke and we drop the expectations, the critical thinking, and um, the self-judgment, if we drop the self-judgment of judging ourselves, that smoke disappears and then we can see that reflection. Sometimes, though, it's easy for us to blame and it's easy for us to go, well, this person made me feel this and this person should have behaved in a way I've wanted them to behave and we take things personally, but everybody's behavior is a reflection of them. So when we remember these things, because it's easy to forget, it's easy to forget that, that basically it's important not to take things personally. Everything is a reflection of um, themselves. So when you're behaving badly, it's usually because, uh, not because of somebody else, it's usually because the unconditional love isn't happening for yourself. And so 
it's really difficult for us to unconditionally love ourselves because in the fabric of our society we have learnt to always look outwards always look outwards rather than look within and so this is why it's a good thing to see people as mirrors and to start realizing that everything is a reflection because then we can actually look in some of our biggest lessons happens in our interpersonal relationships how we negotiate those things between our needs and wants and all those kinds of things but some of the biggest rules that a lot of us don't live by and I have to remind myself many times too about those expectations or wanting other people to be a certain way we can't expect any of that we can only be in control of ourselves and it's really important for us to focus on that and always have that reflection coming in and it's not about some people have said to me when I've been talking to them about unconditional love you know that when we unconditionally love others does that mean we let them get away with anything and we just continue to love them it's certainly not what I'm saying it's more about the unconditional love for the self because unconditional love will come in return when we drop all those things the expectations um, the critical thinking and the self-judgment so I've been ranting for a little while and I haven't seen any questions down here I'm just gonna double check if there's any questions um, guys you can feel free to comment and share this video if you think it's going to be of benefit to others hopefully um, there's some tips in there that you can use and I might just add that you know some of the things that we can do in regards to unconditional love is to notice when we're not being loving towards ourselves, and to love everything just to love what is anything um, that's happening in your life even the fact that you might find yourself judging yourself love the fact that you notice that love the part that wants to judge you so there's some just words of um, wisdom that I kind of tuned in and and channeled into so if you don't already know every week I actually just tune in um, to my guides and I tune in to what's needed out there and usually I just go off what comes and what I'm guided to say so this week is about that um, if you want to know anything about my programs workshops everything like that you can private message me and as always as I do every week happy mental health Monday see you guys